of that 851,000 ballots, that represents about 50% of Utah's voting population. So, well, just a little bit over half of Utah has already voted. We're still four days away from Election Day. Now, as you said, Today is the last day in most counties to vote early, the exceptions being Weber and Utah County that have extended early voting until Monday. Now, while today is the last day to vote early in most counties, you still can mail in your ballot. That has to be postmarked by Monday, or you can drop it in an election drop box, and that's something state election officials are pushing everyone who can to do as early as possible. Still plenty of opportunities for everyone to vote, and we still want everyone to do that. You know, go put it in the mail so long as it's postmarked no later than Monday, November 2nd, or put them in those ballot drop boxes, you know, any time of the day and until election night. Now, we are expecting very, very long lines for Election Day. Every election official I, is, I have talked to has said they're expecting hours-long lines at certain points throughout the day. For some reference, in 2016, for the last presidential election, there was 1.15 million people that voted. So we are well on track to hit that number. And even though this weekend most state election offices will not be holding early voting, again, with the exception being Weber and Utah, counties, they will continue to collect ballots from the mail and from ballot drop boxes and count those, of course, on Fox 13. We'll bring you updated numbers throughout the day and right up until Election Day and bring you the latest on all things 2020 election. Live in the Hills, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.